Hi everyone, um, so today I'd like to talk about the new agent framework for Microsoft. Um, the short story is that um, it's made by the same engineering teams that uh, have worked on Semantic Kernel and Autogen. So if you've used any of these two frameworks, you'll find um, a lot of the ideas here very familiar and very comfortable. And so agent framework covers everything you would expect of a modern agentic framework. And so for example, you can define an agent, give it access to a model client, give it instructions, give it tools, and even middleware. So these are routines that sort of can be executed before and after things like a model call or function call. And um, just for an example, you might see things like uh, weather in SF, a classic example. And as the agent runs, events get streamed out. You can sort of see all of that here. If you have things like open telemetry, uh, configured, which is supported by the framework, you can sort of inspect all of that here. And if you have two calls, you can sort of inspect all of that quite, quite easily. Um, and of course, if you if you had things like multimodal input, let's take a quick screenshot of this right now, paste it here and see, describe this. You should sort of see um, the agent uh, sort of um, process that and show responses. But beyond um, things like just showing, um, running an agent, um, you have things like the ability to manage state across threads. And so we might create a new thread, uh, sort of triage a new session. Um, or even more importantly, we might have things like a workflow. And so if you use something like Line Graph, you can also appreciate how for many applications, it's sort of useful to have like a low level API that lets you express your um, your application as a computational graph and agent framework sort of supports that and so there's a concept of a workflow api um, you can create custom um, executors which are nodes and define sort of edges or transitions between each of them and of course these workflows can be as simple as you need them to be or as complex as you as you need them to be okay so um before i sort of get into the features i should note that um as of today which is October 1st, 2025. Um, the new agent framework is mostly, um, it's in public preview. So there might be some breaking changes until this becomes more stable and gets into um, um, general av availability. And so to get started, I think typically the best place to start is um, is a agent framework repository. And so that will be on the screen, Microsoft uh, github.com slash Microsoft slash agent framework. And um, the Useful thing to note here starting off is that there's full support for both uh, Python and .NET. And in order to get a good sense of the features, um, um, I definitely would recommend that you sort of start out with a samples directory. So you go to Python packages, um, go to Python slash samples, and sort of you can see all of the useful samples here getting started. And so everything sort of organized as follows. There are many features that have been introduced with Agent Framework, but I think um, for a developer, let's say coming from Autogen, I think there are four high level things I'd like to sort of focus on, um, mostly ways in which this has uh, sort of improved on the work we've done with Autogen. The first has to do with middleware. Um, and so if you go to the middleware example, you'll see that um, there is a pretty well developed uh, middleware, set of middleware uh, classes. So things like agent middleware. Um, run context middleware, run response middleware, function invocation middleware, and also things like uh, chat completion middleware. The core idea is that you can think of a middleware as a, as a routine that um, can run uh, before or after um, at key points within your agent application. And so for example, um, we have this security agent middleware where um, it can check the last message. And if there are things like secret passwords or credentials, um, you essentially can intercept execution and you never call next and essentially you can create a uh, security and responsible AI uh, uh, requirement, satisfy the sub of requirements in your application. I'll dive into this in a, in a future video. Um, I think it's really, really cool. You can do the same thing with functions. You can intercept the function. You can inspect the arguments of the function um, to figure out things like malicious uh, injection of um, of arguments to a function, that sort of thing. And you can um, not just inspect, you can also change the course of the application execution flow. You can do the same thing for a model client. And let's say you have a um, you have an agent does a bunch of things like uh, retrieve from memory, um, constructs context. Um, just before it hits the model API, you can inspect the content of those messages. You can even do things like context engineering, sort of compact or condense uh, the, the, the 
the context and do a few interesting things um, before you make a model call and after you make a model call, you can inspect the outcome of all of that. So I think uh, middleware is sort of really, really important and well supported here. The next interesting thing is that I think um, is that I believe at least compared to Autogen, um, Agen framework is a lot more production ready. And so you will see that if you went to the getting started slash agent route, you'll see a lot of high level um, agent abstractions. So for example, you can wrap any agent framework agent as an E2A protocol ready agent. Um, you can essentially build agents that are backed by the Anthropic uh, model client. You can build um, agents that are backed by the Azure AI agent service. And so what it means is that you can prototype your agents locally using things like hosted Bing grounding, hosted Kodi interpreter, um, even with local tools as functions, integration with MCP. In fact, everything you would expect of a modern framework, but not just for local development, but backed by resources in Azure. Similar, you can have uh, integrations with uh, agents that are backed by uh, Copilot Studio. And so these are things that like definitely are a strong improvement from Autogen. The next interesting thing I think, um, which I think a lot of people will be really excited about is the idea of a workflow. And so um, when we started building Autogen, um, there was a lot of focus on uh, the conversational programming paradigm. So the concept was that you build agents and you give them access to tools, but instead of exactly defining the flow of control across this agent, you might do things like have a container, like a selector group chat container, where each agent mostly takes a turn and um, sort of collaborate by conversation until the task is done. Of course, um, many production applications need more careful uh, business logic. And the way you can do that here is with a workflow. And so, you can think of a workflow as just a way to express your application, um, uh, your application uh, solution as a graph. And so in this case, there's a concept of a workflow builder. You can define nodes, which are executors. And so for example, there's an uppercase executor that takes an input and you can define uh, edges or transitions between each of these nodes. So th that's pretty much it. Um, you specify your workflow, you add an edge between two nodes you set the start executor and you build it and you run it. Um, um, very, very simple and intuitive um, API. Now, some of these executors themselves might be agents. They, be, they might be arbitrary functions of code or code that you have written and all of that should just work. Um, of course, um, the story can be a lot more interesting. So um, here you can look into this folder to look at um, executors that are agents. Um, there's also full support for checkpointing as your workflow sort of runs. Um, Status state can be checkpointed to a file or whatever uh, durable storage you're interested in. You can compose sub workflows uh, within executors. Um, you can have conditional edges. You can have things like parallel uh, fan out, fan in behaviors. You can also have human in the loop. And so as a as a workflow executes, um, it can be persisted or checkpointed until a user provides a response, and then you can proceed. Of course, there's a deep integration for observability and telemetry. And essentially the same workflow API um, can be used to express patterns like Magentic One, uh, Round Robin Group Chat, and just everything that you might have seen with um, with Autogen. Um, so, and, and then of course, um, all of these, uh, your, your workflows can be visualized both in code and also in the, the UI interface that I showed earlier at the beginning of this video. And then finally, the last piece I'd like to talk about is the dev UI. Um, of course, the core idea here is that um, not all developer wants to run um, the examples or debug them on the command line. Um, and so as part of that, we are shipping dev UI, which is a sample app for running uh, agents and workflows. And the programming model is pretty simple. You'll define your agent or your workflow as, as you would do normally. And then you can wrap it in the serve command. So you set the entities that you want to see in the UI. And once you run this uh, file, you get a UI interface that looks like what I showed earlier. And so in this case, I have a folder. Um, the other interesting thing is it also offers a command line app where um, you can point it at a, at a directory that follows a specific structure. And so you should have folder and init.py file, um, an agent.py and whatever environment variables you'd need. 
And if you structure your folders like this and you pointed dev UI at this folder structure, it will discover all of the agents and workflows in there and you sort of see them in an interface that looks like this. And so here we have three agents and we have um, two workflows and we can switch across each of these things. Um, we can create new threads, we can interact with them. Um, and it's just an overall useful way to sort of uh, debug and run and test your applications. Okay, so in this video, I mostly look through an overview of the new Microsoft Agent Framework. Um, and I mostly covered a set of features that I think um, represent improvements, especially for, let's say, an Autogen user. Um, so for example, um, middleware support. Um, another thing is production-ready support for agents backed by multiple services. Finally, we looked at um, the workflow um, API, which lets you sort of define um, arbitrary um, uh, applications as graphs, so nodes or executors, and define edges that may be conditional that uh, represents transitions across these edges. And um, with that, the ability to checkpoint the state of execution to human the loop um, uh, behaviors and um, sort of pause and resume the execution of these workflows. Um, and so right now, the framework is in public preview, and so there might be some changes here and there. But this is also a good time to identify bugs, try it out, and sort of send in pull requests. Um, we will definitely appreciate all of that. So thanks for listening, and um, I'll catch you in the next one.